turn four orcs. Let's see if we can bring on the pain. Just, just a little bit more. <laughs> There's not that many guys left for either side. So, death roll, tank shocks the dread knight. See what damage you can do. He, f I pass my dangerous train. He passes leadership. And let's see how many. Only two hits, but they are strength ten, so that's two wounds. Hey, if he just rolls a one, then that that's good. But he does not. So moving on, the other battle wagon tries, but is out of range. They really need to make battle wagons fast. I, okay, comment if you agree. So, dev copters move over, and they're gonna try to assault. Just do a little bit more wounds. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they take a wound going into difficult terrain. So, the Ludas get three shots. They're attacking that Storm Raven. They do nothing. <laughs> it's it was it was kind of oh double one on psychic power. That was for the, I think Hammerhand or Shrouding I think, because my my guys were attacking. So he does take a wound. He doesn't does his rerollable and vulnerable. He doesn't take that again. So I take one more wound in my Death Copters, and they charge in. To, to help out, I should get some like a flanking bonus, like a leadership bonus or something. Ah, they're basically fearless. So, against Drago, do as much damage as I can, which is, well actually he gets hit me first. So he kills three boys. Three boys dead, no big deal. I got like five left. <laughs> Attack back, I need sixes. So two more wounds. Oh, roll Instead of rolling double ones, he rolls double sixes. It's not what I needed, but in my power claw, he does manage to get one wound. No, that, that was fearless. My power claw whiffed. My power claw did nothing at all. And so I actually am falling back six inches. That's about right. <laughs> and he consolidates only one inch. Of course, he rolls the one when it's movement, but never when it's his armor. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually amazing how how annoyed you can get at the dice that you just want you hope and pray for one So every single time you see a one and it's not a time when he would fail an armor save you get bitter at the dice It's it's a it's a very love-hate <laughs> Thing with this game, especially when you're when you're facing Terminator armor, so moving on The rest of the, the boys attacking the Def Cops was attacking he's attacking this is the verdict. I kill one more paladin, and with the rest of my attacks, deal a bunch of wounds. I got really lucky there. And one wound, does he get the feel no pain? No, the apothecary goes down, and so that's all that's left is the paladin with the warding staff and the librarian. And then they will be done. I do make insane courage leadership though on my boys, and so I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sad about those ones. <laughs> I really wasn't that angry. I was. It was actually a lot of fun to see who could win through this attrition. So the Death Copters fall back, but because they are at full strength, they actually might be able to regroup. Hold that thought. There's a Dread Knight. <laughs> so he moves up. Storm Raven moves all out with his power of the machine, spirit silliness. He's gonna shoot my. Bomber again, I'm sure. The the Dread Knight flaming, trying to do as much damage as possible. Or no, the Drago flaming. Not doing any, we're actually only killing one. The Dread Knight kills a Death Copter through flames, does a couple wounds, that's all I had left. Shooting at the bomber, hits, penetrates. He survives! <laughs> that's a third penetrating hit, this bomber has survived. He is my hero, and it was only one. That means he can move and drop his final bomb. Orcs may have hope yet. So, this is this is actually really exciting. Drago assaults the falling back boys. I need to make a leadership test or die. I make it. Only 50-50 chance, so that was lucky of me. And then he attacks. Kills a bunch of boys. Actually kills only two of them. Or three. So there is one boy left, I think. Attacks, does one wound, and he fails. What, 30 boys could fail that? <laughs> one boy succeeded, got another wound, and then my power claw whips again. So, leadership, I fail. I kill my remaining supporting boy, and I actually make leadership. 
because there weren't that many guys that died. So, moving on, the Librarian and the, the remaining Paladin attack, do as much damage as they can, which, oh no, that was a Dread Knight, sorry. He massacred those Death, er, those Death Copters. Like, completely. And then, he consolidates four inches. Now for the Paladin and Librarian, and they get, yeah, all the psychic power, all this plus strength, those all work, although he's only able to cast one now, which is good. But he does manage to kill, still kill three boys. Attacking back, there's a lot of ones on my part hitting, but I deal a few wounds. That's one more wound on the librarian and it kills him. Thankfully, he uh, failed those, those psychic tests, otherwise he wouldn't have been that hurt. But the remaining guy does survive. He makes all his armor saves, I cannot hurt him at all. Then he attacks back and kills one more boy. Or no, that was boss bowling. Trying to survive, but I do fall back. I needed a six. Because I'd, I only lost leadership by a bit. But my guys do fall back. And now at the end of turn four, it actually is looking very, very hopeless for our boys. For the orcs, they don't really have that much. And it's just the Dread Knight and the, and the Storm Raven is what it is. They just refuse to die. But Orcs never go uh, down without a fight. So, I move forward, I drop my bomb. However, before I drop my bomb, I actually go too close and I clip <laughs> both. And so I get a penetrating hit on a strength nine, so against both vehicles. So I get a penetrating hit, but only get a one against Storm Raven. Get a penetrating hit and I blow myself up. Or I just wreck myself. <laughs> so, that's if that's going out, with a bang, I, with, it's that, if that's not going out with a bang, I don't know what it is. Boys continue to fall back, and Battle Wagon, well, nothing else to do. Let's ram, or Tank Shock, whatever, there's a Death Roller. <laughs> it's the same thing to me. So, he passes leadership, of course, and that's three hits. At C, he has four wounds though. So it's four wounds. Or the three wounds, sorry. And armor save. He fails too. <laughs> so he is half dead. I just gotta do that one more time and somehow without dying with my with my death rollers, with my battle wagons. So, attacking that warding staff guy, he survived way too many, but he absorbed so many power claw attacks. So he does make his leadership as well. I get five attacks. That's four wounds. And he fails. He, he was at full, it doesn't matter. Two wounds. He's gone. And so all of a sudden, it's not looking as bad? I don't know. So the Ludas? The Ludas are still alive. I don't know how they're alive. They shoot two shots each. Four shots. Only one hit. Strength seven. That's a three. Oh, it's failed a wound. And, okay, Drago against the knob. Epic battle. Dun, 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 dun. He fails. He only does two wounds. Only one goes through. Nob has two wounds. But then we remembered he has a force weapon. He activates it. And he passes it. So that's an instant kill, Nob. Oh, it was, it was close. I wouldn't guarantee kill him anyways because it was a three up save, but it would have been closer. One wound left, Drago. Consolidates right next to my battle wagon. We'll have to see. Turn five, Grey Knights. Storm Raven shakes his stunned or shaken, whatever he had, and Drago moves up, and they're gonna lay the hurt on my few, few remaining boys. Storm, the Ludas get burninated, not a problem. And shooting at my battle wagon, he actually fails to penetrate. Drago shoots pistols, might as well, hits, it's fives to glance, might as well try something. Oh, look at that, that's two penetrating hits. <laughs> so, let's see what happens, he does blow up the battle wagon. How many inches does he blow up? I, I, it's kind of a lost hope here, but it does blow up six inches, which actually hits both characters. I need six of the wound though, so it doesn't hurt Drago unless you count that one. No, no. <laughs> so. It doesn't hurt the Dread Knight either. So end of turn five, 
Again, there's not much on the board. I think the Grey Knights might have this one, but let's go and see if there's a turn six. And there is. And so let's go ahead and start by falling back with my boys and Big Mech. I should have just left him in the battle wagon because I could have made some cover saves. It would have been great. But he's going out with a bang. He's charging Drago. He's fearless. I get five. Oh, I fail. It's only three wounds against Drago and double wound. Negative one hit points. Drago is done. Good game. Orcs win. Oh, wait. Grey, Grey Knights still get to go. <laughs> but I that was an epic, epic battle. I think we all know what's going to happen here. Let's, let's let, just listen silently to the dice as they tell of the doom. Open topped. That's right. <laughs> A well deserved Grey Knight victory. Very excited winner as well. Well, good game, Lloyd, or Dave, or whoever you are. That's cool. <laughs> it was that second game in a row I got tabled. But you were Grey Knight, so it doesn't matter, right, guys? Whatever. Anyways, for your victory, you get this. He's got green skin and no head. And that is one of my boys. I tabled you, I want some. So, thanks to the game again. Thank you. Great pleasure, and happy wargaming. <laughs>